BRCA1 and BRCA2 are two cancer genes that were identified in the mid-90s in families who had a significant number of individuals who were diagnosed with breast and ovarian cancer. When I was 21 years old, I decided to be tested for the BRCA mutation because of my extensive family history and the fact that I had a cousin who was 25 years old and she was diagnosed with breast cancer. My cousin's diagnosis really hit home for me. She was so young and I knew that I was reaching that age as well. So I knew that it's just such a scary world, you know, to have this information. I was scared when I got the, the test results back because now I knew that it wasn't just something that was going on in my family, but that it had impacted me as well. So, you know, as she got sicker and ultimately passed away, I knew that this is what I had to do so that I could be around for my family and so that I could spread the message that, you know, we have this knowledge and we need to do something with it. The BRCA1 and 2 mutations predispose patients to getting breast and ovarian cancer. They can be passed down from both the father and the mother's side. So it's definitely not just a female problem. Just because someone has a genetic mutation in the BRCA1 or 2 gene doesn't mean that they're going to get cancer, but it means that they are at a significantly higher risk of developing breast or ovarian cancer compared to what the general population's risk would be. The reason it's important to know if you are or to know if you have a genetic mutation is because that provides you with the ability to make more informed decisions about your health care, such as prophylactic surgery or chemo prevention, taking a medication to potentially decrease your risk of ovarian or breast cancer. It really empowers the patient to make more informed decisions about their future health care. When I first found out that I was positive for the mutation, it was kind of a scary thought, just, you know, very unknown. Um, we started the surveillance, you know, doing regular breast MRIs, going to the doctor every six months for checkups and all those things. Um, but then really it got to the point as I was reaching a more mature age that I decided that I needed to do something more than that. I decided to go ahead and proceed with a preventative mastectomy and reconstruction so that I could significantly decrease my risk of breast cancer. Both surgeries, the preventative mastectomy and the preventative hysterectomy with the ovaries removed, reduce a woman's chances of developing cancer about 90 to 95%. What's interesting about removing the ovaries of a premenopausal woman is that if a woman who has not experienced menopause has her ovaries removed, it also significantly decreases her risk for breast cancer by approximately 50%. My family has been devastated by cancer. My mom and my aunt both died of breast cancer in their 40s. My sister, Nancy Romer, died at age 40 uh, of ovarian cancer. We have the hereditary cancer gene in our family, BRCA1 and 2. The mission of CheckYourGenes.org is to educate the public on the need. Uh, if you have a significant family history of breast or ovarian cancer in your family, the need to go get tested and to take action and take your health into your own hands. My sister never had that opportunity. She was diagnosed with ovarian cancer at the age of 32. Uh, no one ever told her that because of her family history of a mom dying of breast cancer, an aunt dying of breast cancer, that she was at risk for hereditary breast and ovarian cancer. So when she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer, uh, the surgeon said, well, have you been tested? And we said, what test? And that is the reason we formed this organization. It's a ticking time bomb for families. And it's a time bomb that can be diffused. If you get this test, you can take preventative measures to reduce or, or even eliminate your risk of developing these cancers. That's why it's critical that you find out if you're at risk. The availability of genetic testing for BRCA1 and 2 really gives us an option to take our medical management into our own hands. Genetic testing, the actual process itself, is very simple. The test itself consists of either one tube of blood or a simple mouthwash sample. Genetic testing for BRCA1 and 2 does tend to be covered well by insurance. In our experience over the past eight years, patients probably experience insurance reimbursement somewhere between 90 and 100% of the time. 
The tragedy of Nancy's death is that it didn't have to happen. Nancy and I formed Check Your Genes to make sure that other families didn't have to go through what we've gone through. I encourage everyone to become involved with Check Your Genes. You can go online at checkyourgenes.org or become a fan on Facebook. We want to continue to spread the word throughout the country about the importance of knowing your risk, knowing your history, and then doing something with the information. Um, it's a gift that we have that we can take our own health care into our own hands and you know to have this knowledge because the knowledge is power that we can have. Um, people like my cousin Jamie and like Nancy Romer, their lives were shortened too early because they didn't have information that we can have now. So I, I beg all of you who have that high risk to do something with the information and take an action and give that gift back to your family.